Good day, hey, this is Sedlo. And just before we get into the video, I need to make a confession. When I cut the video just after departure, I failed to re-enable the recording until I was on short final and I realized that things weren't happening. So instead of a SID and STAR video, this is just a SID video. And you will find out exactly what I mean by SID and STAR shortly. Okay. Back to our regularly scheduled program. Good day, eh? this is Sedlo, and welcome to DCS World. Today, I'm going to show you how to put in standard instrument departure routes and standard terminal arrival routes into your CNIMU. Uh, these are called SIDs and STARS, and what they are are sort of like a pre-planned playbook of how an aircraft will depart an airport or arrive at an airport, and this is to expedite the flow of air traffic control uh, so controllers will know what you're doing and when you're doing and sequence everyone in very nicely. Uh, we're in luck. Today we're on the Cold War map. We're flying from Cologne down to Frankfurt with about 7,000 pounds of David Hasselhoff records. For some reasons, the Germans love this stuff, and uh, we got to get it to Frankfurt because they're going to get into some... You want to keep the Germans happy. All right. C-130J on the Cold War map, you say, said low. That just doesn't compute. C-130J came in around the mid-90s. Um, newsflash, Cold War never ended. Uh, we got to stop talking like it was over or won. It just uh, simmered down for a little while, as evidenced by, uh, well, state of the world now. Ed editorializing over. All right, I think I'm going to break this video up into a couple parts here. Um, we're going to show you how to plug in a route, how to plug in a departure routing, and then probably take off, split it there. All right, let us go down here and focus on our CNIMU. All right, our first step we are going to do is we are going to put the route in. We're leaving from Cologne, which is EDDK, and we're going to Frankfurt, which is EDD. F. We're going to depart runway 25 here in Cologne. Put that in there as well. Now, uh, let's get our perfinet done first of all here. Uh, we've got a payload of 7.1 thousand pounds of music. Ugh. Next page. Uh, let's put in our transition altitude of 5,000 feet. In Germany, it's 5,000. Drag index is 10 for this version of the C-130 we have with its configuration. Cruising altitude, we're going to go up to 15, uh, 150,000, 15,000 feet. Cruise winds, I believe, are about 280 at 22. Cruise speed, we're going to go at 240 knots. And uh, Outside air temperature at top of climb. Okay, it's 15 on the ground. We're going 15,000 feet. Lapse rate of 2 degrees per thousand. So that's 30, 30 degree change. We're 15. We'll go minus 15 for top of climb. All right. Um, that is oh, transition altitude for the descent. It's also 5,000 feet. All right, told index. Let's go EDDK slash 25. Told in it. It's a slope of zero, I believe. Uh, winds are 240 at six. Outside air temperature on the ground is 15 degrees. Two nine or nine or two. Ooh, no, 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 no. It's 1013 millibars because we're in Germany. And our climb winds, I don't know, let's call it 280 at 15. I'm not sure what they are. This is just for fun. Uh, next page, that looks good. We'll go takeoff data. And remember these numbers here. Um, 4705 horsepower is rounded to the nearest 100 minus 200, so 4500. Let's remember that. 109, 109, 124. 
MC index, V speed, 109 for refusal. Um, anything goes wrong with the aircraft after that, uh, we should go flying and uh, 124 for our V2 speed. Right, so that is done. Let's go back to the index and the route and let us put in our departure. SID, standard instrument departure. So we, on the page one of the route, on the left side, just above the bottom, departure arrival. You'll see EDDK here. We'll select departure. And we're departing off the runway 25. And we're doing the Cologne 6 Delta departure. Um, how do I know what departure routes to use? Well, I don't really. Um, what I did was I went on to flightaware.com. I plugged in EDDK to EDDF, and it'll show you routes that uh, passenger jets and aircraft are taking uh, today at this moment in the near future and what they've just done. Uh, it'll give you an idea of uh, what departure routes are in effect. So there we are. Okay. Cologne 6 departure off runway 25. That's kind of how we do it. Um, we don't have hard altitudes in this because I don't think the altitudes are included in the SIDs that we have right now. So go back to route 1. And let us to let's activate and execute this because um, it's only got us going as far as the uh, the uh, uh, Cologne VOR or TACAN. That's fine. Let's go to legs. By the time we get to Cologne TACAN, we should be at flight level two five or sorry one five zero. So. I wonder if we just put 150 in here. Will that work? Oh, we've got to go slash 150. And you know what? Let's actually do it the proper way. We're going to be at 240 knots at 150. Put that in. That, uh, is that 150 feet? That is, isn't it? Let's, uh, let's change that. Slash 15, 1, 2, 3. I thought it would do flight level 150, but I guess you have to put in the FL 150. Oh yeah, that's fine. So that's a change for a routing. We'll execute that. And don't worry about that. We'll go to legs and we start from EDDF or sorry, EDDK. We go to this waypoint, to this waypoint, to this Vortac or whatever it is. Put the map up here so we can kind of get a see what our our route is we're gonna be flying off of here with a right turn and another right turn to here and then we'll go south down to frankfurt let me uh, zoom in on that just a little bit okay so there we go um i am going to also spin our altitude select up and we're just going to pretend we got cleared up to fifteen thousand feet right away that never happens in europe just too busy to do that kind of stuff. We've got altitude selected already, and we will put in uh, nav. So uh, nav capture is armed. All right, I am going to start the engines up. Um, I'm going to probably just fast forward this part here because you've seen probably a ton of startup tutorials. And um, I'll taxi out to the runway, and we will meet you there. How about that? Okay, uh, we're back. Uh, I'm just going to show you. Some people are having problems getting the Hercules taxiing. What you got to do is press the brakes down and then push the parking brake lever in. You can do it with your toe brakes or like this. Press W. Watch them go to the floor. Press this forward. Pull that out. There you go. So keep trying to keep it straight with our uh, nose wheel. We're at above 60, so rudder's going to be effective here. Coming up, rotate. Oh, 
positive rate. Gear up. I'm going to pull my pinky switch here. See how the little donut comes up? I'm going to let it go. And we're going to maintain this attitude once we turn the autopilot on. So we're in the nav capture and we're on our way on this departure. Let's throw the auto throttle on up to uh, let's climb away at 200 knots. Once we're over 200, uh, once we're over 180, I'm going to put the flaps up. Flaps up. Look at that. We made the departure. Okay. Let's uh, shut these lights down. And uh, folks, I think we did it.